Hi, this is Dr. Cook, Cook Performance and Therapy, coming at you with your second workout of the week. This one's going to be for April 30th. So we went a little bit more high intensity on Tuesday, so today we're really going to slow it down. All it's going to involve is five movements, but we're going to do them eccentrically with a isometric hold at the bottom. So eccentric just means we're going to really control how fast we're dropping into the movement. Our five movements are going to be squats, push-up, reverse lunge, a Superman sequence, which I'll explain to you, and a heavy plank with full activation. All right? So for the squat, as you see, I'm doing it barefoot. I suggest everybody does it barefoot too. This is gonna help you feel the ground. So when you're doing your squats, outside shoulder width, think of your foot as a tripod. I want three points of contact, big toe, pinky toe, heel. You wanna be able to feel all three points of contact. So for the squat, it's gonna be a 10 second lowering followed by a 10 second hold at the bottom. So it's gonna look like this. Now, as soon as my 10 seconds are up, I'm gonna come up fast as I can, all right? So that's the first one. Next one, push up. Hands just outside shoulder width. I don't wanna see this. Nice up, tight neck core, all right? So for the push up, same thing. It's gonna be a five second lowering and then a five to 10 second hold at the bottom depending on what you can do. So it'll look like this. come up fast as we can. Next one's going to be a reverse lunge. This is going to be a 10 second lowering into a 10 second hold. So if we're starting on the right foot, slide back, just enough weight so it's on that big toe, most of the weight on that front leg. I'm actually just in front of my foot. So for the 10 second lowering, we're going to drop down. I'm going to keep it just in front of my foot, dropping this back knee straight down. At the bottom, Get in this running position here, and I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds. I'm gonna to try to keep everything nice and engaged. Feel the three points of contact on my foot. After the 10 seconds, drive it up. Then we'll switch left leg, slide that right back on the toe. Slowly drop down, 10 seconds. Hold. We don't wanna be leaned up like this work. Slightly lean forward. And then drive it up. There's your lunge. Superman sequence is going to look like this. Come on your stomach. Arms out front. Thumbs up. Forehead down. You're going to lift your arms and legs. Thumbs are up. Reaching as far forward. Don't keep them bent. Reach. You're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Then we're going to come in field goal position. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Notice my feet pointing my toes, keeping my legs straight off the ground. Then we go into arms at the side for 10 seconds. Then we're going to turn our palms, rotate back, lift our chest, set our feet down, reach for the ankles, 10 seconds. Last one, it's gonna be our plank with full activation. You're gonna make a fist on the ground, and lock your hands if you want. I'm going to arch and then tighten down my abs as much as I can. Slide one leg back, squeeze the glute. Slide the other, squeeze the glute. So now I've got my abs as tight as I can. Legs are squeezed, glutes are squeezed, and I'm going to push my fist into the ground and pretend like I'm trying to pull it towards my feet. If you're doing it right, you're really going to feel it activate those abs. I don't want to see you dropping down here. Stay up, stay tight. You're going to do that for 20 seconds. So that's one round. We went with our squat, into our push-up, into our reverse lunge, into our Superman sequence, right into the plank. You're going to rest about a minute. And then you're going to go all the way back through that again. If you're just getting back into working out, shoot for five rounds, see how you're feeling. If you've been working out, you're looking for a challenge, shoot for 10 rounds, possibly even up to 15 if you can make it, all right? Make sure you're taking that break. Make sure at the bottom of every movement, you're not wiggling around moving your toes.
tight and still. Tripod with the feet. Drive it up. All right? So this is your eccentric and isometric focus day. For everybody that's been following along, next week we're going to focus on speed, agility, and change of direction. Probably going to need four to five cones, so just a heads up or something that you can use as targets. But we'll get to that next week. So, as always, let me know what you thought of the workout in the comments below. If you have any questions, concerns, or things you'd like to see, feel free to reach out to me personally. Thanks and enjoy.